This video will cover year nine measurement. These are the fundamentals test preview questions. So these are C level questions. I'll put some time tags down in the description so you can skip to question numbers that you want help with. Or if you're following along without the test paper, you can just look for the sorts of questions you'd like some help with. Question 1A is a triangle and it's asking you to find the area of that shape. So I've gone and looked at my formula sheet and I remember that the formula for a triangle is half of the base times the height. So this is a bit of a trick question this one because we don't really need the information here about this side. What we really are after is the base and the height alone. So I'm going to assume that it's a right angle triangle in order to answer this question. So the area will be 1.6 times uh, 1.8 all divided by 2 which I would then put into my calculator and find that it is 1.44 and I'm not forgetting to put my units down which are meters squared because the question is area. Question 1b is another area question and I'm looking at a rectangle here. So I know that after looking at my formula sheet, the area of a rectangle is the base times the height. So I don't have to divide by two. And so the area will be five times 7.7. .7. Once I've put that into my calculator, I've worked out that that is 38.5. This time it's centimeters squared and I haven't forgotten to put in my area. Question 1C is another area question, and this one is a circle. So I've gone and had a look at my formula sheet, and I've seen that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now I'm being careful here because this formula calls for the radius, and sometimes a question will give you the diameter, which is the total distance across the shape. In this case, they have given me the radius, so it's nice and simple. So this one will be pi times 3.7 squared. Now, if you're going to put this into your calculator, you're going to need to be careful that um, you put this in brackets, just in case if you're using your phone at home. Uh, sometimes what that will accidentally do is it'll do pi times 3.7 and then it will square the total of that and you don't want that. So put it into your calculator like this and you will find that the answer is 43.01 centimetres squared. If you put it straight into one of those Casios, it should um, give you the correct answer as it is. Question 1D is a trapezium. Now, we don't use this shape very frequently and its uh, formula is a little bit more complicated. I'll just show it to you while I do this. Um, so this one is the area equals the height multiplied by A plus B in brackets divided by 2. And the brackets are going to be important in your calculator so that your calculator um, gets this correct for you. So we'll substitute things in here. So we've got 3.2 multiplied by 5.1 plus 7.3. Okay. Now ignore the 2.5. It's not there to help you, it's there to trick you. You're after the vertical height of the shape, okay? And we're going to divide by two. You can put that straight into your calculator like that. It will cope just fine with it, but you will have to remember your brackets and you'll find that the answer is 19.84 millimeters squared. Question 2.A or 2A is a Question asking you to draw a triangle with a height of 14 centimetres and a base of 6 centimetres. Now you could draw a number of different triangles here. It doesn't really matter whether you choose to use a scalene triangle or a right angle triangle or an isosceles triangle. I'll just do a right angle triangle so it's nice and clear. We're going to draw our triangle in. And I'm going to clearly mark the height and use my units. And I'm going to clearly mark the base. I'm not getting confused with the hypotenuse or anything along those lines. 
And then it, I'm not forgetting that it's also asked me to find the area of each shape. So I have to go back and use my formula. The area of a triangle is the um, base times the height, all divided by 2, which is going to be 6 by 14 divided by 2, which I'm then going to put into my calculator, and it will give me 42 centimetres squared. Question 2b is asking me to draw a rectangle, and it's giving me the dimensions. So I'm going to mark it in. Draw the neatest rectangle that I can without a ruler. Okay, it's given me a length of 5.2 millimetres. It's given me a width of 2.5 millimetres. And it's also asked me to draw a diagonal of 5.8. Now... That won't actually help me in any way to work out what the area of the shape is, but I don't want to lose any marks, and it's asked me to mark it, so I will. And now I've got to go back and find the area. So the area of a rectangle is base times height. So that will be 5.2 times 2.5, which I'll put into my calculator. And the answer will be 13 millimetres or 13 square millimetres. Question 3a is a composite shape, which means that it's a shape that's made up of multiple shapes that we know. So what we need to do is we need to go looking for some of the normal polygons that we know the rules for. So I, I know I've got a rectangle here, and I know that I'm missing a triangle. So they're the two areas that I'm going to work with in this question. And I start by labelling them. Area 1 and area two. And I know that what I'm going to be doing ultimately is I'm going to be taking the area one and subtracting area two from it because that's what's missing from this shape and I'm after the shaded area of it. So area one's a rectangle so I know that I'm going to be using the formula base times height and so here I'll be using a base of five and a height of 6.2 and when I multiply those together, I get 31 metres. Area 2 is a rectangle, is a triangle rather. And I can get the base of that because the opposite sides of the rectangle are going to be equal. So that one's going to be 5 metres as well. And I've got my vertical height marked here for me in the middle at 3.9. So this will be 5 times 3.9, all divided by 2. If I put that into my calculator, I will get... 9.75 meters okay now that I've found my two areas I'm going to tell my marker what I intend to do here and to find the total area which I'm going to call area T in this case I'm going to say I'm going to do area 1 minus area 2 this way it's nice and clear for me it's nice and clear for my marker and everyone knows what I'm up to so that'll be 31 minus 9.75 and that will give me 21.25 square metres. Question 3b is another composite shape, but this time instead of uh, working out one area and subtracting another from it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one area and I'm going to add the other area to it. Okay. So here we go, I oh, will call the triangle area 1 this time, and I'll call the rectangle, just to be clear, area 2. So I'll work out area 1, which is a triangle, so I know that I'm doing base times height divided by 2. So I'm going to take my base of 6, multiply it by my height, 3.8, divide that by 2, and that will give me 11.4. Then I'll work out area 2. This time it's a rectangle. So it will be base times height, which will be 6 times 4.2. And that will give me 25.2 millimetres. Now I'm going to be clear for my marker and myself what I'm going to do to work out the total area is add areas 1 
in area two, which will be 11.4 plus 25.2. And that will give me 36.6 square millimeters. Question four is a volume shape, uh, volume question. So they're actually asking you to um, calculate how much this could hold in this three-dimensional shape or alternatively how much space it's taking up. Now you have got a formula sheet and the volume of this shape is the length times the width times the height or a variation of that. So in other words, this times this times this. I'm not a big fan of volume formulas. Uh, I think they lend themselves to laziness. Really, when you're working out the volume of a shape, if you're just working out the base times a height or a length times a width, and you're getting the surface of the shape, then you can always just times it by how deep the shape is in order to calculate the volume. And that's helpful later on when you start having a look at composite shapes. Um, and asking the volume of them. So when you get to your application section, you usually choose the more unusual looking side and then times it by how deep the volume is. But we'll get to that in the applications questions. So in this instance, I'll just substitute them straight in. So I'll go 2.8 by the height, oh sorry, by the width of, um, oh, anyway, stick the straight in. <laughs> and put them into your calculator and you will find that you'll get 33.6 centimetres cubed. Now, just because I've bounced around a little bit, we better make sure that we have a look back at the sheet. So back on your sheet, you are looking at the length times the width times the distance. But really, um, you would have noticed that when I did my rectangle questions, I did base times height. So what you're looking at is calculating the area of this and then multiplying it by how long the shape is.